Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So um, I've got a little bit of a haul for you today. It's not a massive amount of stuff but it's mainly the things I purchased in January and I think the back end of December as well. So um, we'll get started. So we'll move our little kitty out of the way and get started. So they're from different places. So we'll start with books just for a change. So I managed to get hold of this beautiful book which is um, already out in the US. So this is the Mythographic Colour and Discover Wild Winter. So I'm actually filming this on the 31st of January. So I've managed to get hold of it because um, I was having a little look on the internet and I know that it comes out on the 14th or the 15th of February in the UK but Blackwells which is actually um, a bookstore in the UK had this book available so um, I decided to purchase it from there because I wanted it earlier so there's some absolutely beautiful pictures in here I have as you can see um, sort of whittled it down to two or three pages which I want to do first either this one with the rabbit I think it looks gorgeous um, what I like about these pictures is that you can just be as creative as you like and you don't have to be realistic. Then this one, which I think are um, a fox and a little baby fox there as well. This is highly detailed. And then also possibly, I haven't put a tag in it, but I thought maybe this one. This one I can imagine is quite popular. It's just beautiful but unfortunately when it came this bit here was stuck onto this side of the page so it did come off so I have to be ultra careful with this because it's going to fall out the first page but anyway that's Wild Winter managed to get hold of it and then Steampunk Houses uh, 2 I decided to buy this um, I'm not overly fond of Amazon printed uh, books um, because of the paper but you know some of the some of the um, titles are really nice and, and is as is the artwork so I decided to go for it and I picked out either doing this page for February which is Walled Gardens or maybe even this one. This one is very um, the opposite of details, quite simplified. So this is the birdhouse. I think I'm likely to go for this one actually, but you never know. We will see what happens. So that's Steampunk Houses 2 by RJ Hampson, I think. Hampson, yeah. And then I bought this wonderful book called Cute Mandalas. Absolutely love this book. Um, I saw it online um, on a YouTube video. can't remember who the video was by, unfortunately. The... Um, Illustrator is Apsi Sumanasari, and there's just some real cute mandalas in here. Um, like, you know, the kawaii style, I think. And this is the one I did for January, which is the beautiful, cute dinosaurs. That was really fun to do. And yes, yeah, so that's that one. Cute mandalas. And that's it, just three books. Then um, from Etsy... I purchased a few paints. So the ones I purchased, I'll show you the, the um, let me see which ones. Are, yeah, so basically I purchased these two. These were from KJ Designs by Karen. So I'm showing you the swatches first. I've got green, which was actually given to me free um, by, um, by Karen, I think it is, um, her name. And thank you so much for, for popping this one in because it's absolutely beautiful. It's lovely green, greeny gold. And then Silver Lining, which is the one that I purchased. Um, again, absolutely beautiful. And then I also purchased Anaconda, which is like a bright lime green. And then um, this one here, which is called Green Iridescence. Because I already had the turquoise iridescence and the gold iridescence here. And I really like the iridescent colours, you know, for fairy wings and bee wings and things like that. So I got four, well, I ordered three paints and she put one in there free for me, which I was really grateful for. So Anaconda, 
in the green iridescence. I'll show you the paints because I added them to this palette here. So those, that's the anaconda and the green iridescence. It is rather soft. It's very, um, it's not, it's not like hard paint. It's, and when I do add water, it's quite, I don't know, it's quite, quite soft. It's not, it doesn't feel like the other paints. And it, it is quite thirsty, so I do need to add a lot of water. So this one is a green that, that I got for free, greeny gold, absolutely gorgeous. And this one's the silver lining. So, yep, yeah, those are the pa paints from KJ Designs by Karen. I also purchased um, a few um, paints from Honeybee Pigments. So these were the four that I got. This one's called Aurora. Um, this one's Celestial Shimmer, this one is called Andromeda and this one's Olympic. I'm not pleased with the Andromeda because it's not shiny at all really. It's, you know, quite matte um, and my understanding was that it wasn't going to be matte. But anyway, you live and learn. So yeah, um, I think I'll probably just order from my the free sample swatch cards if I like any so I know what they're going to look like beforehand but yeah they're here that one that one that one and that one it doesn't look like how it looked like on the and you know on the advertisement for for that the uh, um what's it called the andromeda it's very very matte which is not really what i was after but anyway that's fine um it's there if i need it at some point so those were some more paints that i um from Etsy so next um I got some more paints from I think it was um possibly paperstory.co.uk yeah I ordered these six Coliro paints I already had six bases in here that were free so the green pearl I got I have got this was a replacement as was the blue pearl because I used the blue pearl um, a lot so I think this is my third one the other ones aren't finished but I just thought I'd get another spare one the green pearl lime which is a beautiful bright green cobalt blue pegasus which is a new one as is the cobalt blue and cinnamon these three are new colors there's another new color called curry but unfortunately I hope you can't hear my stomach growling because I'm hungry um, I'm going to eat straight after I finish this uh, videoing but these three are new and there's one called curry which unfortunately wasn't in stock but yeah those are the paints I got from paperstory.co.uk and I will link those that's them um, like I say I haven't got that much to show but I thought it's worth a haul still from um, Cult Pens I purchased this uh, refill for the Mono the Mono Zero Tombow Eraser so you get two in there and there was 10% off I think so that helped so that's that that's for the refill I'll just show you the refill for this Tombow um, mono eraser that's that one and then um from cult pens now i've been after these for a while now that i've got them i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure whether i should have purchased them but i'm glad i did because i have been after them for a while and i thought i'll get them when they're reduced in price and there was 10 percent off so i did end up getting them they're the ink tents block so i got these from Cult Pens um, for a really good price. Uh, I think they were £90 but 10% off so that was great. I think there was £9 off then. So these are the Ink Tents blocks. Now I will be using these for art journaling as well when I finally get to it which I need to reorganise my stuff I think. I'm going to take some of quite a lot of my colouring books upstairs so I can put my art journaling stuff closer to me and then I'm more likely to do it. So here they are, they're absolutely beautiful. So that's the first tray uh, and that's the second tray. I did already have a 12 pack of these um, and I also got some open stock in the past. So I do know what they're like. Um, I'll probably use them as a watercolour. 
and I probably put my own numbering here as well. There are numbers on there, as you can see, that's they're a bit difficult to see. That's zero two one zero. It's a little number there. So they are really nice. Um, I can imagine using them for my normal sort of art stuff, just messing about as well as as well as using them as watercolour for backgrounds uh, and things as well. So I'm going to have to think about um, how I'm going to use them more in the colouring, probably just as a watercolour paint really. I, I doubt I'll use them directly onto the paper. So that's that. That was probably the biggest purchase that I bought um, this month. And then um, from another place, just trying to think what the name is actually. Um, bear with me, I'm looking my... Right, so Crafts for Less, that's it. Crafts, craftsforless.co.uk I purchased these Distress Inks, first of all. So, um, Caligrilicious, so Danny from Caligrilicious, um, was showing his villainous portion, and this is obviously one Distress Ink colour that I do not have, and he inspired me to... Or enabled me however you want to see it to purchase this one and so I did because it's a new one that I haven't got newish one that I haven't got and then the other newish one that I really like that I haven't got is called salvaged patina a bit similar to peacock feathers but those two I got now the swatch I need to redo all my ink tent swatches because they're in this old creative companion from 2020 and um yeah, I don't really want to have them in here. So yeah, that's Villainous Potion, which is a gorgeous purple, and then you've got Salvaged Patina. So it's actually lighter than Peacock Feathers, which is over there, so that's that. Just put that away to the side. Right, so those are the two Distress Inks I got. I like to get the bigger pads because they just last longer, so yeah. And then I got these, um, Mica Magic. These are the spring pastels. They're by Craft Artist. Um, the compact pigment mica for shading, colouring, and drawing. So I got the spring pastels, and these were all reduced price, by the way. Um, there was some money off them, and then the winter jewel. Now these are like like eyeshadow, basically. Oh, of course, these are mica, so they come in a nice little set, like. A nice little compact case and um, so these are the spring pastels so basically they just look like eyeshadow um, and I did try this out I'm going to use one of these to show you and then you just I mean they do they are shiny of course because they've got mica um, powder it is pretty much mica powder but these will be really good for background especially when you want um, a shiny um, appearance in the background and of course you can try to blend other colours in which is what I'm trying to do now maybe oops Shit, went into the wrong uh, well there um, so yeah I'm liking how that looks they are quite um, how's the word uh, you know they're not brushing in your face, glittery paint, you know, like the deco art paints I've got. Um, they're a bit more, um, you know, what should we say, a bit more subtle. So, yeah, they are really nice. I do really like them. Um, and I think I will be using them. I think they look really nice, particularly on black backgrounds as well. So it'd be nice to try them on black backgrounds. Um, but that is the spring pastels, which is good because spring is coming up. So hopefully I can use that for um, some backgrounds. It's, it's another choice, um, I guess, from pan pastels and they are cheaper. So if you're interested in them, I mean, it says here www.crafts-2.com. So you could have a look there. I mean, I got them from an online UK store, craftsforless.co.uk. So this is the Winter Jewel, and I might as well show you this as well. 
so these are some other colours, the lovely um, warm colours on this side as well, which is a good thing. So, just try to show you what they, they look like, but now these will need fixing because if you if you rub onto them they will they will come off onto your finger um so i think i would imagine that the usual you know what you use for pastel blend sorry what you use for um fixing pan pastel would probably work with this as well but there you can see that it's just pretty much like eyeshadow but this is mica so it's going to be shiny so yeah that's the palette the winter one winter jewels as it's called so yeah if you're interested in this i will i mean i'm going to link all the stuff below just take time to link but um i know that some of you like to have a look find where you could get them from as well so if you don't live in the uk maybe you could try out www.crafts-2.com because that might be another place where you could find it so those are the Mica Magic um, powders so that's those right um, I've said shown you the distress ink as well and then from a place called Boundary Mills which is um, sort of a really big sort of a department store and they sell lots of different things including some craft items as well as clothes and household stuff um, and then from there they, they sell the um, Spectrum Noir brand and Crafters Companion brand of things so I got the metallic paint markers I've already got the silver version of these and I really did like them they come in three different nibs I mean uh, you could purchase these from craftstash.co.uk or even um, any place which stores which so, sorry sells spectrum noir materials so i have only activated two of them so there's a there's a 0.7 millimeter nib it's absolutely really really bright as you can see it's um, a beautiful liquid gold i mean i had the silver and i thought i need to get the gold and then this is obviously a th much thicker nib that is a three millimeter that's really nice so yeah I decided to get these they were at a reduced price um, of six ninety nine. Um, usually nine ninety nine. and then I bought the spectrum noir metallic flip markers because um, a few of you mentioned that these were um, out and they are newish and I wanted to test them out and um, yeah they do remind me of the Pentil Dual Metallic Hybrids so I did a swatch of these so I've got the I think there's only two packs available let me know if that's correct um, the Natural World and Cosmic Wonder because they didn't have any more and I looked online and I couldn't find any other packs so this is a Cosmic Wonder so you can see they're, they're beautiful you've got um, Luna um, Cosmos, Galaxy, Eclipse, Nebula and Comet and then Natural World, Marine, Reef, I mean that's gorgeous Prairie, Rainforest, Moonlight and Sunset so absolutely stunning bright shiny colours um, really do like them so yeah so those are them, so that's what I got from Boundary Mills. And then finally I went to Hobbycraft at the weekend and I did a little bit of searching around there, see if I could find. I was actually looking for the Jane Davenport Batten Blenders, but they didn't have any, so I was quite disappointed, but can't seem to get hold of them. Um, these were reduced in price from whatever they were to about £3.00. And I thought I'd try them out. They're called matte gel pastels. After trying them out, I'm not too sort of, you know, um, excited by them. They're basically, they are like a 
like a gel and you just I mean you can use your finger to spread it out on the paper and make um you know a sort of a background with them um but yeah I mean there's I've got lots of other stuff that sort of performs quite well I mean these are good for I guess mixed media stuff with art journaling um, you could use it on your colouring pages I don't think it bleeds through nope it doesn't bleed through um, that you're meant to just put a little bit on like that and then you can um, spread it with your finger which I'm not going to use at the moment or anything else that allows you to spread it out um, and that's it really that's what it is um, but I just thought when I see new mediums I just like to try them out so I, I might use them hope I can find somewhere where I can use them I'm sure I'll find somewhere where I can just add them in but I just wanted to try them out so I just got two and I'm glad I didn't get any more so those are the Jane Davenport Velvet Pastels Matte Gel Pastel so yeah those then what else did I get from Hobbycraft? I got a couple of um, beautiful gems because you know what I'm like. So I have the these ones which are like a blue and a purple mix. So beautiful. And blue-purple mix are just like my favourite. And this is a light blue silver. So I got both of those. Um, what else? What else? Um, just a simple six well palette because um, cheap little palette is all I require really for my needs. I've got a really small workspace, so um, I can't really have big palettes. Uh, next, I got these paints. Now these were reduced, and I'm so glad I got them. I did not expect them to be as good as I thought they'd be. They are five pound, I think, at the moment. So get yourself down to Hobbycraft if you want some good pearl paints because I am really impressed with this. So these are watercolor pearl pans, and I've been wanting. I'll just take this off now. Um, I've been wanting one of you know pearl paints for a while. Now I'm just going to show you very quickly um, what I mean. Because I haven't done a swatch, unfortunately, yet. I haven't had a chance. And um, I've been very, very, very busy. So I just wanted to get this filmed um, so you can see how beautiful that is. Really nice pearl colour. Um, now, I usually do not... Um, I don't usually use a water brush for my um, paints. I use just a usual standard brush and um, so it's a bit unusual for me to use this but this was just quicker for me so I thought I'd just use it with a water brush so you can see there's absolutely st this stunning I mean I don't think you get a lot in each pan but for five pound you can't really go wrong I mean isn't that a lovely unique colour I don't know if you can pick that up it's like a like a pale gold beige colour but yeah they are beautiful um really 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 beautiful paints um I didn't expect them to be this pigmented and nice I really didn't so for five pound um I wish I got two now but anyway I'm sure the it's a hobbycraft brand so I'm sure I can go back and get another one of these at some point. Okay, what else did I get from Hobbycraft? I got one of these. I usually get these because they're usually on sale. And it's just a mixed media pad. And I just use it to mess about on, really. Um, try things out and, I don't know, just, just have fun with it. It was only, um, I was thinking it was reduced to £3, which was really good price considering it's 250 GSM as well so and then I got one of these I can't actually remember how much this was but it was reduced from what it was originally 
very very thick 350 gsm you get 15 sheets um and yeah i don't know if this will go through my printer i know 250 gsm goes through my printer um but i'm not sure about 350 but still it's there i mean i use watercolor paper for when i'm messing about and just you know having fun doing artistic things um so yeah i thought it was worth getting at a reduced price we're nearly done now and then finally I got just this just a cheap hobbycraft version of this tear off palette just to try because I've never tried a tear off palette and I thought it would be good particularly for acrylic paints it's just me being lazy I guess rather than cleaning the palette out well here's a question if you know the answer to can you use watercolours on here um, as well or would it is it just for acrylic paints because obviously I don't know it's not my you know i just don't really know anything about this apart from that you can use acrylic on it so yeah i got that and then the final thing i just got a couple of brushes for acrylic paints um because i needed some so i got a size four it's only a deal around me one but these are quite good um quite good brushes and i got a finer one which is a zero so yeah got those two as well and that's it really that's my haul so i hope you enjoyed watching and until next time take care happy coloring bye